If you're brand new to Blender and especially new to 3D, adding color and textures on your 3D creations can be really confusing. So this is the absolute simplest way to do it. We have a cube here. We're not going to do any fancy modeling on this, but let's say that this is going to be a wooden crate. Well, the very most basic way to make this sort of like a wooden crate would be to turn this brown. So all colors and textures and basically anything beyond just having a gray surface is going to have something to do with adding or changing the material. So with my 3D object selected, I can go down here to this little red circle and that's going to bring up my materials palette. And everything in 3D is made up of a material that has to do with its color and how it reflects light and its roughness and all of that. But the most basic version of this is just the color of the material. We have our default material here, which is already applied to this cube. And if I click on this white part by base color like this, I get a color picker. And let's just do kind of an orange and then make it dark. That's going to make us a brown. We'll even have this nice and saturated like this and then click off. Now, I've turned this base color brown for my material. And the material is already applied to this cube. So what the heck? Why isn't it brown? This was so confusing to me when I started Blender. And the answer is up here. There are multiple different ways to view your 3D objects in Blender. And by default, this one is called viewport shading. And basically it's just looking at the shapes. It doesn't really take into account what they're made out of. It's just kind of this gray shape. To the left, we can switch it to wireframe mode. And to the right, we can click this next one over and we get hardware shading. So this kind of gives you a rough idea of what the textures and colors and things are. And so this is going to be great for us. It's sort of like a lower quality way to see the materials in the viewport. But if we switch over to the very far right, click this, that is going to actually give us a rendered view, which means that it's going to react to lights and there's going to be shadows and all kinds of stuff like that. So we can see the reflections on the top of that cube. One side is bright, another side is dark. And so that's going to give us a better idea of what this is going to look like when we actually render it. But for now, I'll switch back to our hardware shading and we have our brown cube. Now, let's say that we want to go one step further and we want this to actually look like a wooden crate and not just a brown box. Well, one thing we could do would be to add more geometry to this. I could go into edit mode and adjust things like this and make more geometry and everything. And that would totally do it. Let me know if you want a video on kind of how to do that sort of thing. But a really simple hack when it comes to 3D stuff is to just add a detailed texture to something that isn't very detailed. And so I have a couple of textures here, and one of them is this really nice 3D crate texture. And what we can do is basically put this image on every side of the cube so that in our video game or our render or whatever, this cube will look a lot more like an actual wooden crate. So how the heck do we do this? Well, the answer, just like our color, is here in the material. And here I'm just going to mouse over base color and hit backspace. That's going to reset my base color to white. And then I'm going to click this little yellow dot. That's going to bring up all different kinds of things that we can do to this base color. But I'm going to go over and select image texture right here. That's going to change this color to use a texture. And it's also going to give me a little bit of options here. And what I want to do is go to open and I'm just going to navigate to my texture. By the way, if you want to follow along and use this exact same texture, there is a link to download that totally for free down below. So I'll select this and hit open image. And that is going to give us some weird results. <laughs> this is not right. Something is wrong. It sort of works. I mean, it's wooden, but it's not what we thought it would be. Ideally, we would have this kind of image on each plane here, and we would have this texture repeated on each side of the cube. So why isn't it doing that? Well, the answer is because of UVs. What the heck is a UV? A UV is basically a way to tell a 3D mesh how to use an image texture. And so we can tell it, okay, we want all of the image textures to be repeated on each side here. We can have it wrap around two sides or whatever we want to do. So we have to set up our UVs and UVs is a huge, huge thing. But luckily for us, we have a really simple cube here. And so to set our UVs, we're just going to hit tab to go into edit mode and hit A to select all of these faces. And we're going to go up to this little menu that pops up here when we're in edit mode and we have our object selected. We can go to UV 
and we're going to go down to cube projection. And what that's going to do is just project an image on each side of our cube, just like this. Boom. And now look at this. I can hit tab. Look at that. Now we have our texture on each side of the cube. And this looks like a wooden crate. Isn't that exciting? I love this, man. And so that's a massive, massive difference. And so even if you're brand new to Blender now, you can make a textured cube and do all kinds of cool stuff. I mean, you could do some Minecraft goodness just with this little bit of information. Isn't that awesome? The other thing I can do is go down here to this little bit in our material options, and I can decide how rough I want this to be. So I can push up the roughness a little bit because that wood is probably pretty rough. And now we have a pretty nice looking crate just from applying that texture. We'll do a little bit more on this crate in future videos. How about you drop a comment down below and tell me what you wanna see next. Until then, check out the link in the description for this free texture and you can make your own wooden crate. And it's gonna be fun. And I know you can do it. Thanks for watching.